Okay, so happy new year people and today we're gonna to be doing something of course a little bit different we Got Kong Studios and it's gonna be an update on some of the stuff that I've gotten myself some of the stuff that I've seen Floating around on a net in regards to what Kong Studios has in store And this is one of those things kicking it off you guys might have already seen this Super Saiyan 3 Goku on the new 3.0 body and I put 3.0 in quotations because it seems that, at least for Tamashi, the 3.0 body is variable. Just see the their version of Gohan Beast and Orange Piccolo, you know? Maybe I'll put some pictures on the screen. But this this particular version of 3.0, I, what can I say? This Goku looks great. It looks incredible. Uh, it's, it's perfect because it'll still probably be a little while before we get an actual updated Super Saiyan 3 from Tamashi themselves. We're still probably, what, two or, two or three years off from that? Because we still, we've barely, we barely gotten through the uh, Android Cell Saga stuff. So, that's a little ways off, but here, we, here comes Superhero Kong Studio. But with that being said, moving forward, all that stuff looks great. All the faces look great. Uh, let's see, yelling face looks a little awkward. Well, I mean, not the yelling face, the grinning teeth face looks a little awkward. But, other than that, it looks really good. If they could get that QC under control, this, you know, Kong Studios is gonna not take over third party, but they're gonna really, they might even, they might, they'll probably get de demoniacal fit out of there, because they just released too infrequently to really compete at this point. But we'll see what Demoniacal Fit has in store. Moving forward. We got the uh, Black Fur version of Goku Black. Uh, Super Saiyan 4. And it looks, looks dope like I thought it would. Face looks a little awkward. A little bit awkward. It's not a complete deal breaker. Um, it looks like it's using the Super Saiyan 4 hands. Um, and this is also going to come with an interchangeable pink hair hat. Now the only thing... I'm curious about what that is. In the pictures, in the pre-order pictures, it shows only like five faceplates or four faceplates. I put a picture up, but the problem with that is, you wouldn't you also need faceplates to match with the pink hair, so you don't have like black eyebrows with pink hair. Either way, just another observation. It could come with the pink uh, faceplates as well. So we'll see. Here, okay. So we got. I'm gonna come back to this. So here, of course, we got an in-hand look at the Super Saiyan 5 Rose Goku. And <laughs> this thing looks awesome. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really, it's a really uh, crazy what if. Super Saiyan 5 Rose? Bit out there, and of course you see the, the hair sculpts. So you can see how big this hair piece is, and hopefully Either the hair is lightweight or the figure is heavy to balance out the weight of the figure so it can stand at least a little bit on its own. So moving forward, of course, we get a, a nice closer look at the Super Saiyan 5 Goku. And this thing looks awesome. It looks awesome up close. Now, one thing that's a little disappointing is that, of course, it's on one of that older molded bodies and articulation isn't the best. It's work withable, but, you know, it's not the perfect thing that you would want. Moving forward, more looks at the Super Saiyan 5 Goku. Another look at the Super Saiyan 5 Rose Goku. And oh yeah, well, another thing about this figure. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna have the earrings on it. All the pictures I've seen so far, he doesn't have the earrings on, so. Um, we'll see how that goes. And another look at the Super Saiyan 5 Goku. And that little light blue shading is doing wonders for this figure. It's a nice, uh, one of their best looking pieces. But moving on. So now we got the Super Saiyan 3 Vegito, like some 3D renders for Super Saiyan 3 Vegito. And as I said before, it looks awesome. Now the only difference is before when I did a video on this, he was battle damaged, but in this he's not battle damaged, so I'm not sure. And same thing with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So I'm 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 guessing at some point they'll release a battle damage version, or I'm not sure what they're gonna do with that. We'll see. 
Um, or maybe they'll have interchangeable parts. We'll see. But here's some more. We'll look at it. I think this is the last. It's not the last one. I think this is the last one. Um, for the uh, 3D uh, head sculpt renders. It looks really good. Like I said, if Kong can fix their QC issues, the sky's the limit with these guys. You can't. They not. They're gonna. They're gonna have. Uh, I'm not gonna say they're gonna have the third party market unlocked because there's still a lot of good third party people out there but they're gonna be on top that I will say and oh wait not ready to show that one yet but yeah moving on so here we have some more 3d renders of some at some pant uh, pant like sculpts right and I would say these are probably for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku or Vegeta Vegeta. Actually, these are for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku because that's the only character that wear these boots. And it's the only other character that we've seen battle damage with the final uh, system. And yeah, that's all. I don't have much to say about it. <laughs> okay, here. Yeah. Now we get into the meat and potatoes. Ultimate Gohan 3D render. And it, it looks great. It looks great. <laughs> you got the super... Super thick neck, as my uh, friend pointed out. <laughs> but, you know, in some of the artworks, Gohan's neck definitely looks like this. He swole back in the Z days. Now, not so... Well, still kind of... They kind of still pretty swole and, well, more lean now than super big. But... Yeah, it's Ultimate Gohan. What can I say? Looks good. Now, Future Gohan. This is going to be one that's going to sell out fast. And one thing I will say before we, like, before I continue to gush about it. The hair isn't completely accurate. And I'll, I hate to be a stickler for this type of thing. Because people can look at it and be like, well, what's the big deal? And I would say, you know, this it's always good to, you know, make the figure as accurate. And th this is probably a work in progress, too. So, but I'm, so I'm just going to say at the moment, it's not completely accurate um it's always to have it good to have it as accurate as you possibly can be especially since you know kong is trying to get to a lot of these you know banger characters or figures that's going to sell well before tamashi does and tamashi i'm almost certain is keeping track of what's going on in a third party market so they'll easily be able to uh, you know, capitalize. I mean, people are gonna buy Tamashi anyways, but I don't think you're doing yourself any favors by making something less accurate when you can make it more accurate. Is basically what I'm trying to say. But moving forward, another 3D render by Kong. Looks wait, looks uh yeah, you can see it, the change from here, even from between these two pictures. So you you can see it's being adjusted. So it's probably nothing to worry about. More 3D renders. Oh, now we get the full figure, and as you can see, it looks awesome, man. <laughs> it looks really awesome. This is, like I said, this is gonna be a figure that sells like hotcakes. People love Gohan, but not just Gohan. They love themselves. Future Gohan. That all my life I had to fight Gohan. But moving forward. Here we go! This now this one was very interesting. And I wasn't sure what to make of it. I was like, it's like it looks like it has like the back part of it, like the bangs look like future Gohan, right? But the rest of the hair looks like ultimate Gohan hair. So I was like, what's going on here? Like, is this supposed to be Super Saiyan 2? Future Gohan? Like is this a hypothetical head? Because you know Kong Studios likes to do the hypothetical kind of what if scenario type of deal I don't know what to make of it I'm not gonna say it is I'm gonna just assume that it is um, if they really wanted to get crazy I would say do it like a, a future Gohan black because there's so many funny enough there's so many artworks for that and it di didn't I don't know why people are obsessed with that potential hypothetical scenario future Gohan black I guess it would have been more that would have been post a lot more of a conflict for Trunks. That would have been interesting to see that character dynamic. Having to kill your old mentor. 
But either way, that was the last. This is the last of the Kong Studios uh, little update that I have for you guys. Stay tuned for more reviews in 2023. And I think I said Happy New Year in the beginning of this video, but if I did, Happy New Year. And until next time, Bombastic Plastic out. Stay fantastic.